Hello everyone. Welcome to Texture Myth. From this session, we are going to start another series where we will discuss about the SQL, but in terms of dynamic SQL. Okay. So in short, you can say that we are going to discuss about SQL RPG program from which we can easily perform uh, either insertion, deletion, or any SQL operation, but dynamically. Okay. So we are going to use statement for uh, performing these operation like insertion deletion operation and so on okay so let's see how we can use this prepare and execute statement in order to build dynamic sql queries so for that first of all i will show you one table uh, then we will perform these operations okay so here you can see i'm running one normal query which is select star from shermit one slash students so what it will do it will fetch out all the student data so you can see here we have stored some random data like student id and student name uh, with couple of records right now what we are going to do we are going to create one dynamic sql query inside sql rpg program in order to insert data into this table okay so let's see how we can do this thing but with uh, sql statements okay let's see so first of all what you need you need one as we are going to make it dynamic so what i'm doing i'm accepting two parameters here okay you can see as an input parameter i'm accepting a few parameters uh, which is student id and student name and then these parameter we will use uh, inside the dynamic sql query in order to uh, insert data into file okay so there is nothing uh, hard coded in the program we are taking values directly from the user by calling the program and accordingly we are inserting the record so to receive the parameter in free format we can use this way like you you have to use the dcl pi okay dcl pi means uh, pro parameter interference uh, sorry program interface and the here you can put the program name okay and what we are uh, accepting here we are accepting first parameter as student id second parameter is student name fine and you can accordingly you can define your uh, data type and length so i just keep everything in uh, character form so i just declared uh, like this okay post that what we are doing we are declaring one constant in every sql program we are using this constant right so the constant name is SQL state underscore valid with five times zeros and this constant we will use to verify the query whether it is executed properly or not. Afterwards, as I'm saying that we are going to use prepare and execute a statement. So to prepare a string for the statement, we need one variable. So this is the variable DCL as SQL is TMT. Okay, which is of type character length 100. Afterward, we are just setting the commit equals to start none. This is also a default thing for our each and every SQL RPG program. Now, first step to prepare a dynamic SQL uh, query, we need one variable which will hold the actual string query. So, this is the same. So, here you can see the comment preparing string for statement. So, my string name is SQL STMT. Here, I am writing one query insert into students which is my table name you can also specify your library name if you want like you can simply go here and type shermit one slash and then table name students then you can specify the column so here i'm specifying column name as student id and student name if you are inserting in all columns then there is no need to pass like this but just to show you the syntax i just keep it as it is like i just specify the columns then one very important thing whenever you are ending any string means for sure it is not going to complete here right we need to change the line so before changing the line make sure that you keep extra space here why because otherwise it will concatenate entire string with this so the value will become student name then parenthesis and then continue in a continuation it will write values which is not correct it is not a query right so we need one extra space in between the the parenthesis and values so i just keep it 
some people uh, keep the space at the beginning of the string some keep at the uh, end of the string and uh, for safer side like you can include at both hand uh, at the beginning as well as at the end okay but in my case i'm just uh, keeping space at uh, end of the string it is up to you like how you manage but make sure that there should be a proper uh, spacing in between the statements otherwise it will give error then we are writing values now in place of values we are using these question mark why because these question mark is working as a placeholder you can see one question mark is here one question mark is here so it means it is it would take two values from the statement or at the time of executing the statement it will take two values fine so this is the statement we have just we have not prepared statement we have prepared just a string that we will use to prepare the statement make it very clear we are not preparing statement here we are just preparing string which we will use to create statement now how to verify this this is string whether it is created successfully or not so a manual trick is that you can simply copy it from here go to your str skill screen paste it here remove the extra things like semicolon and quote now in place of these question one you can try to put some random value like uh, here i will put uh, let's say 40 and here i will put double r okay and hitting enter so you can see one row has been inserted and check the query you can see record has been inserted it means this query is perfect okay so string is ready right now we will prepare statement preparing statement from st uh, okay from string it should be string from string so what we are doing here to prepare the st uh, statement you can write this command exec sql prepare then your statement name the state in my case i'm using the statement name as stmt1 from and this is my string sql stmt you can give any meaningful name as well like uh, insert a statement or anything it is up to you right but i recommend you always go with a meaningful name this is just for the demo purpose that's why i'm using stmt1 but i recommend you like whenever you are working for a project or any task make a meaningful uh, use a meaningful name okay so what it will do it will prepare the stmt1 statement 1 for this string sql stmt once a statement is prepared then we will execute it so to execute the statement you need to write exec sql execute stmt you need to write again execute right exec sql is for command running and then execute stmt1 using and then we have to provide those value which will be replaced with the placeholder we have prepared in the string so i am passing first argument means a first input parameter as a for the first uh, placeholder which is host which is working as a host variable p underscore student id then second is p underscore student name so what this line these line will do it will execute the statement using these two values after that we are just performing the basic validation if sql state is equal to sql state underscore valid then display data inserted else display the error and also show sql state so that user can uh, work on that particular sql state and rectify the issue if there is any and then simply do end if and inlr on so let's quickly compile this program and call it oh sorry we we can't call it directly why because we are we have made it as parameterized program right so for that what we need to do uh, you need to write here c then press f4 we want to pass more than one value right so in params you can use plus symbol and hit enter so it will provide you the parameter list here i will put a uh, first id as 55 and here i will put user 55 so that we can see okay now simply hit enter once you hit enter you will see press f10 press f10 again you can see data inserted so let's go and check in the table if i see here you can see 55 user 55 has been entered it means our program is working as expected 
okay fine one very important thing is that like whenever you are passing your uh, placeholder values make sure that you are providing the right parameter in in right place it means first value should be for student id so make sure you are pa passing student id here in a same order otherwise it may cause error I mean, it means it will cause error right because you are providing student id as a student name so how can it work right so you have to pass it properly because first question mark will be or first placeholder will be replaced with your first parameter and then second one uh, will get replaced with the second parameter okay all right now i will show you this program inside debug mode so that you can see like how the string is has been prepared so for that i will just run debug this so let me compile it with debug view dbg view this is a short trick to compile it with source source hit enter and hit enter again okay now to take this in debug i'm copying the program name just write str dbg f4 put name here then we have to pass these option as yes and hit enter after few seconds it will show you one screen where you can put your breakpoint and then you can simply call the program in this example we have created a parameterized program so we need to pass parameters okay so you can see this debug screen has been come now you can put br1 for setting the breakpoint at 1 then press f10 and to call just write c press f4 make plus enter here you can put id 66 and you can put another user 66 then hit enter hit enter again okay now press f10 f10 so here you can check the skill statement if i press f11 here you can see the query is correct right insert into and there should be proper spacing in between them insert and into right otherwise it will give error into student student id student name values and placeholder is also correct okay so it means query is correct now press f10 after that you can check sql state here evsql state in order to just verify yes okay no, no just press f10 again now you can hit it uh, check the value sql state so it is showing zero it means query is okay so it will go in the uh, if block data inserted and are on and simply came out of the program okay so always check your query uh, if you are getting a runtime error just check your statement whether it is uh, prepared properly or not if it is not then you can uh, take the corrective measures otherwise you can simply uh, proceed and find out other option like uh, if there is any runtime error issue in your program okay so in this session what we have learned we have learned how we can prepare dynamic SQL query with the help of prepare and execute statement for that we are uh, we have just seen one example for the data insertion and here we are use first thing we need to do is uh, we need to prepare one string for the statement then we can run uh, then we can ex prepare the statement from that particular string which we have prepared after that we have to ex execute the statement using the uh, required placeholder values and post that you can do simply validation if everything is okay just show message data inserted or whatever is your task and after that if there is issue just show the error message with a message uh, with a skill state and then simply endo and inlr on so this is how we can utilize prepare and execute statement in order to build dynamic sql query for data insertion in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech with